So from time to time you have stadiums that really weren't worth the effort, time, or money to build. So I'm going to highlight five stadiums that were really just a waste of money. And this is going to be based on a variety of factors, but most notably cost and time that it was used for, and also its current status. And these won't be in any particular ranking. So without further ado, let's get started. And we're going to start off with the Dome at America's Center better known as the Edward Jones Dome, which opened in 1995 at a cost of $280 million. Aside from the fact that this was almost entirely publicly financed, St. Louis really got one of the worst stadium deals that was ever written when this was agreed upon. And this was despite them putting up almost all of the money to build it in the first place. The lease only bound the Rams to the Dome for 10 years. And despite it being extended for another 10 until 2015, the Rams would ultimately end up moving from St. Louis in 2016. So in all, after well over $300 million being put into the stadium by this point, it no longer had its intended purpose for existing anymore. And while it still can and does host events such as concerts and XFL games, the stadium is really just this big white elephant at this point, getting limited events and it never even hosted a Super Bowl despite being a dome in what is actually a fairly significant metropolitan area overall. The only silver lining with this is that the city of St. Louis would get over $500 million awarded to them after attorney costs as a result of their lawsuit with the Rams ownership, which can be likely used to maintain the dome into the future. Next is Choctaw Stadium best known as the Ballpark in Arlington and Globe Life Park. This opened in 94 at a cost of $191 million. Ultimately, the Rangers would only use this stadium for 25 years, which is very short for a baseball stadium in particular, especially one by, in most measures, is a fairly decent ballpark with a few unique features such as its outfield. And while the team's cause for pursuing a new stadium is because of the heat in Arlington, well, it was hot before they built this stadium and leading into when they built this stadium. I think really this closed for two reasons. One is that domes got a lot better technologically later on than when they built this stadium. When this stadium was built, retractable domes were in their infancy and indoor playing surfaces usually were pretty bad. But after stadiums such as Minute Maid Park and Miller Park would open, I think ownership just wanted to start over. I think they also realized that they were never really going to need the 48,000 capacity that this stadium roughly holds on a consistent basis. While the Rangers draw okay, they never really needed that much capacity, and that is reflected in its successor in Globe Life Field, with it holding roughly 8,000 less fans. And while this stadium was renovated and repurposed for football and soccer, it really just isn't what it was and is not generating the revenue that it used to when it was the Rangers ballpark. If you can't get at least 30 years out of a more modern ballpark like this, then that's pretty disappointing. Next is San Antonio's Alamo Dome, which opened in 1993 at a cost of $186 million. This is probably the biggest reason why you don't build a stadium without a commitment from a team to move there, as San Antonio never got an NFL team, which was the goal really with building this. Yes, it has hosted many events, and yes, it hosted the Spurs for a time, but its real purpose for a stadium of that size was never realized, and those events don't really make the effort worth it in the long run. It really just was a waste of money and it was built in a bad period for domes. Next we have Turner Field in Atlanta which opened in 1997 for a cost of $239 million which is presently known as Center Park Credit Union Stadium. So as most people know this was originally Centennial Olympic Stadium in 1996. It was built for baseball but its outfield was built to round out a track stadium for the Olympics with the plan that the outfield would be demolished after the Olympics and then rebuilt 
for baseball. And really when you look at this, all you have to do is look at how long it served as an MLB stadium, which it did for only 19 years or 20 seasons. Now there's a lot of reasons why the Braves left, most notably their lease was only 20 years. Nearby Cobb County was offering a heavily publicly financed stadium in what would become SunTrust Park, now Truist Park, and also the Braves did not want to invest money into what was becoming a 20-year-old stadium. There was also belief that a suburban stadium would serve fans buying tickets better, as data that they had said that would be the case. I do think that there were other reasons involved, most notably the fact that the stadium had to be at first built to accommodate the Olympics, and then was rushed to be finished within the span of nine months, even though only about 75% of it was built. They probably couldn't do all the things that they really wanted to do with this ballpark because of the original Olympic construction, and it did end up having kind of a basic look in the end. Now it did get converted for football, so it is still giving some value to the community. However, I still think overall it just was a waste because, you know, going from having 81 home games a year to a few football games doesn't really validate dumping it as a baseball stadium after only 20 seasons. And finally, we have Olympic Stadium of Montreal. This opened in 1977 at a cost of $500 million, which was obscene for that period. The Expos would play there from 77 to 04, not getting even 30 years out of the stadium. To this point, over a billion dollars has been spent on this stadium, despite being really just a bad venue. A plan is in place to spend over 200 million more dollars to replace the roof, despite the fact that there isn't even a major pro sports team playing there. It really is just a lousy venue. They're probably putting the money into it so they don't have to spend more money to tear it down because I've personally walked the grounds of this stadium and it is just so massive that it would just take an insane amount of effort and cost to tear it all down. I mean, you really have to see it in person to really take in how big the complex is and the stadium is altogether. So those are the five. Let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.